In the last year or so, there's been an influx of new UFO sightings. Blurry photos and videos of strange trains of lights popping up all over the internet. But these are no aliens. They're SpaceX's new Starlink satellites, en route to their final orbits, where they will provide high-speed broadband internet all over the globe. And these creepy sky trains are an amazing sight, moving slowly in a silent progression across the skies. But if shaky camera work doesn't do it for you, and you'd rather see them for yourselves, then you're in luck, because it's pretty easy to figure out when and where you can see the sky trains pass. The trail of satellites is most impressive shortly after launch, when around 60 satellites process in careful single file before firing ion thrusters to spread out and get into their final orbit. Right now, SpaceX is launching a new package of satellites every two weeks, though, so there should be plenty of opportunity for spotting a sky conga. But these satellites are designed to beam invisible internet radio waves to Earth, not light up our skies. So how is it we can see them at all? Well, each satellite is pretty small, about the size of a dinner table, but it's almost entirely made up of flat, reflective surfaces, like its solar panels and antennas. Those surfaces are particularly good at reflecting sunlight, and thanks to everyone's favourite law of reflection, that sunlight sometimes gets reflected towards our eyeballs. And here's the cool part. Because satellites, including the Starlink Skytrains, are hundreds of kilometres above the Earth's surface, they can see the sun when we can't. So after the sun has set and the skies darken, when the satellites rotate their flat mirror-like surfaces just right, they can flash a tiny glimpse of the sun's light back at us. But when they pass behind the Earth, into its shadow, even they are shrouded in darkness. So satellite spotting is best done in the few hours after sunset and the hours before dawn. The higher a satellite is, the longer it'll be able to see the sun after it's set for us. And the later into the evening, we'll be able to see it. But the lower it is, the brighter it'll be, as less light will be dissipated on its way to our eyes. So when exactly can we see them? Well, luckily for us, creatures of the internet age, we don't have to guess when the nearest satellite will pass over and flash us. There are countless websites and apps that keep tabs on the Starlink trains, other satellites, or even space debris. Among them, Celestrack shows the position of orbiting objects in real time. Or you can speed it up. Or even reverse it. But there's a lot of them. Each point is named, and you can track its orbit to see what's overhead, and when. The Skytrains are particularly easy to spot. But if seeing all this orbiting stuff triggers your existential dread, then Heavens Above helps to simplify it. On this website, you can choose to see only the Starlink constellations and trains with their dedicated visualizer. Or you can see what's above you in real time, wherever you are in the world. And finally, James Darpinian's SEER satellite site has done all the figuring out for you. Just put in your location and get a handy list of what's passing, when, and even how bright it'll be. The street view is super useful for figuring out where to look too. Unfortunately for satellite spotters, SpaceX are now taking extra steps to make their Starlink satellites less reflective, so they don't cause light pollution when there's 12,000 of them in our skies. Future sky trains might not shine so brightly, so there's never been a better time to go outside and see one for yourself. Thank you.